Well, I've started to see some deer. So I'm kind of being proactive this year. I've got the water sprinkler motion detector set up. I've got it set up where it's scanning this corner right here. The sprinkler has an electric eye. So the deer usually walk up from this direction. And what I'm trying to do is to prevent them from even discovering the vegetables in the garden. So I'm hoping, yep, there it goes. As soon as they walk up here, I want that sprinkler thing to set off and block them. And it also protect the grapevines too. I also put up this deer fencing before the deer have started munching on the tomatoes, which I think is key. You want to prevent them from even discovering it because then they'll just come back night after night after night. I also added this one little section right here. There's a bucket with some stones in it. And this is just netting. I can still drive my car into this one side and I can walk in on this side so I can water and pick the produce and I can still easily pick this up and move it out of the way to have access to the plants. This is also a new fence section. Because in the past I've had problems with animals, possums, and also deer reaching in there. And I can still access it by walking up this direction to harvest and water. Now that I'm starting to get red ripe tomatoes, I'll set up this owl. It's supposed to deter birds from eating the tomatoes. Harvesting the last of the radishes. Check out this radish. It's got a, like a little curly cue. Harvesting the very first eggplant. Here's an observation. These eggplants have super sharp spikes. It's like a briar patch spike. So be careful when you're picking these things. Here's the raw eggplant. Doesn't really have much of a taste. 
but I like the texture. Starting to get the very first ripe ground cherries. You know when these are ripe because they fall off the plant onto the ground. And I will say that these are the most delicious thing I have ever experienced. It tastes like ice cream. Strawberry cheesecake ice cream. This is all super sugar snap peas and one hot pepper. Some garlic salt. Some extra virgin olive oil. And this is something really good to try. Pure super sugar snap pea soup. It's super delicious. So a zucchini plant has two different types of flowers on it. This one here is a male flower. You can tell because it's just a straight stalk. And this flower is a female flower because it's got a tiny little zucchini behind it. Since I keep this in a cage to protect it from the vine borer moss, I take a Q-tip on the male flower. Now it's covered with pollen. And I transfer it onto the stigma of the female flower kind of like what a bee does traveling from plant to plant so now this little tiny zucchini should start to grow into a big vegetable well it turns out my blue lake pole beans were mislabeled they're actually bush beans I was waiting for them to grow up the trellis, but they just stayed real short. The tomatoes are growing really good this year. 